flowers. And more than anything, this got me wondering, what does it all mean? Is Jake possibly dead? Well, although we don't have any definitive answers just yet, based on what we've been shown in this particular clip with Finn, it gives more credence to the idea that Jake just might be no longer with us. Then I'll break it down. Hey, PB. Y'all got monster trubs? Now let's start on focusing with the tattoo and the symbolism behind it. In the middle of Finn's chest is a tattoo of his best friend Jake, surrounded by flowers. Now regarding chest tattoos, they're usually symbolic in that they represent a person facing forward, moving forward in their lives. For men, it's a sign of masculinity and strength, and it's typically something that's close to the heart, hence the tattoos usually being in the middle of the person's chest. Now Jake has always been Finn's closest friend and they're pretty much brothers, they're family, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. Good night, brother. Good night. Now with that in mind, I wanna get into the weeds and talk a little bit about the flowers surrounding the Jake tattoo. And yes, pardon that particular pun getting in the weeds, talking about flowers. Yeah, here we go. Now looking at the petals, we see the larger ones have five each with one that has a yellow circle in the middle. Now, when I first saw this, it immediately reminded me of a forget me not flower, which is a flower commonly used to show support to a family that is grieving the loss of a loved one. The forget me not flower is an emblem of remembrance with the message it communicates being your loved one lives on in your memories. The Forget Me Not Flower is symbolic in that it's meant to encourage you to share stories and positive attributes about your lost loved one and also to remind the family that their loved one has impacted the lives of many in a positive manner. Now it goes without saying that throughout their many adventures together, Jake and Finn have impacted the lives of many they've come to surrounded by a very recognizable flower, sympathy flower, used to grieve during the loss of a loved one. I mean, all those signs point to Jake being dead in the future we see an obsidian. I'm lighting these candles so I can move on with the grieving process. And it appears Finn is back adventuring with Bronwyn as his partner. He also seems quite used to not wearing a shirt. It seems like, you know, he doesn't wear shirts anymore at all, apparently. Which leads me to believe that he got this tattoo not only to remind himself of Jake on a daily basis, but to serve as a constant reminder to Bronwyn of the legacy she's carrying on by setting out on adventuring with Finn. It seems as though they're alluding to Bronwyn taking the place of Jake in this particular instance. We all know that Bronwyn is an adventure from that skateboarding episode. She clearly takes after her granddad. Grandpa! You're cool, you're cool, just please be okay, Grandpa. Now with that aside, I know some people might argue that Jake's not an ordinary dog. You know, he's got magic going on in them stretchy bones of his. How can he die? Shouldn't he be immortal? Well, I'll have to say no to that one, guys, all right? Magic people don't live on forever. They can die as well. But to further lend credence to Jake's mortality, I dug up this tweet by former Adventure Time storyboard artist Steve Wolfhard, where he had the idea that when Jake eventually passes away, he'd start growing uncontrollably. In it, we see Jake growing uncontrollably, with PB having the brilliant idea of using Jake's growing corpse to fill the hole on the planet where he becomes part of the world. Now, it's really cool how, you know, grass and land begins to grow on the organic matter that is Jake, which feeds itself back into the planet. The magic that Jake was imbued with is now making the planet whole again, which is such a nice touch. Now, this is simply headcanon by Wolfhard, but he did state, quote, when Jake eventually passes away. Now, if Jake were immortal, or if the show creators had meant for him to be immortal, I doubt someone that worked so closely on the show would concoct a scenario where Jake dies, let alone make it public. <laughs> Jake! <laughs> it's okay, lady. You gotta let go. He's gone now. With the Distant Land special episodes, so far we've seen them jump back and forth in time periods, showing us what being special. There's only two more episodes left in the Distant Land special, with the fourth and final episode entitled Together Again, focusing on Jake and Finn. Now we don't know much about that particular episode just yet outside of the simple synopsis that reads, quote, Finn and Jake reunite to rediscover their brotherly bond and embark on the most important adventure of their lives. 
Now it's likely this might just be their very last adventure, their final adventure, perhaps the one where Jake meets his untimely end. Now I'll tell you guys right now, I don't want Jake to die, but it seems as though all the hints, Easter eggs and clues are leaning towards that being an outcome for Jake. Uh, I don't want it to happen. None of us want it to happen, but what else can all this mean? I feel like they, they're dropping these hints and clues for us fans for a reason. I think I laid things out fairly clear here, but I would love to know what your thoughts are on all of this. What did you make of Finn's appearance in Obsidian? Do you think Jake's still alive? And what about Bronwyn's appearance? Comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and definitely wanna keep this conversation going down below on what you all think. Now, if you're not subscribed, think about clicking that sub button and give this video a like. Share this with other people, y'all. It really goes a long way so, so much. And I wanna thank you in advance for liking the video and for watching it, of course. And think about becoming a member of the channel for exclusive content, Discord chats with your boy here, and a bunch of other cool stuff you can only get if you join today. Until the next video, take care, I'll see you then.